Hi, this is Mark Hastings from Cypress Semiconductor. Today I just want to show you a very simple application uh, using our 20-bit Delta Sigma ADC and an LCD. I'll show you how simple it is to draw a schematic with both our ADC and our display and, and how little code that it actually takes you to display a floating point value on the LCD. I'll be using our DVK, our standard DVK, for this project, and we'll only have to add one wire and just a few lines of code. We'll be able to do this whole project in just a couple of minutes of your time. I've started up PSOC Creator here, and you can see its default screen. I've got a bunch of projects I've been working on, so when you first bring it up, you'll you'll see uh, a little bit different display than this but uh, we'll just start from here. Today we'll just start with a, a new project. We'll pull down the file menu, go to new project. Uh, we just want a PSOC 3 project to start with today. Uh, we'll navigate to uh, where we want to go. I'll put it in my PSOC 3 directory here. And we'll just call it um, PSOC Voltmeter. We hit the OK button. On the right hand side we have a list of all the components we have available. As you can see there's a, quite a, a base of components. So the first thing we want is an ADC and we'll grab grab ourselves an ADC. This is the uh, uh, Del Sig ADC, Delta Sigma. It has a range of up from 8 bits to 20 bits of resolution. We can configure it by simply double clicking on the icon. This brings up a uh, dialog and we can actually have multiple configurations. Today we're just going to have one. Um, just for fun we're going to make it a 20-bit ADC and once you do that it'll show you the range um, uh, speed you can go. So if I were to make it 13 bits, you notice I can go a lot faster. But today we'll just we're just going to display it on the display, so we don't really care. Tell it we're going to do a sampling rate of 100 samples per second. We're going to make it a real simple single-ended ADC with zero to uh, one volt. We're going to make it rail to rail, and that's about all we have to set up for now. So the next thing we need is we need an input, a pin, you know, input to from the chip, the external world, to measure voltage. We go down and we find our analog pin. By default, you don't really have to uh, do much with the pin, but we'll open it up. And what I always do is I always give it a name. You can make it any name you want. I'm going to use port 00, and it's going to be VN. So it's already an analog input. I'm going to apply the name. The other thing I forgot to do here, we're going to, I like short names for my components because I don't like to type. So we're just going to call it ADC. And now the next thing we need is we need a display. So we're just going to get the standard LCD display. This is one, you know, a 2 by 16 character display. Uh, again, I, I don't like to type very much, so I'm going to make a nice short name. Uh, so when we type in the uh, APIs, we have all we need to make a, uh, a nice little voltmeter. So we go up over here and before we build it there is a tab right here. You see it'll have your project name CYDWR. That means a design-wide resources. If we click this it brings up an outline of our chip and tells you where things are connected. So remember I put P00VN and that that reminds me I want to use port 00. Now I put down an LCD in a minute I'll show you the DVK and our DVK by default has the LCD connected to port 2 so I'll make sure it's port 2 and if you uh, if we zoom in here you can see that uh, here on the side of the chip here um, where I put uh, port 00 there's my port 00VN and uh, over here on port 2 you'll see our LCD inputs 
on the side here, taking all up but uh, one pin of port uh, port two. So nothing's changed there. And now this time uh, we'll go over here and we'll do a, a build. You'll be able to see at the bottom here as it uh, builds. You know the first part where it's actually doing the build takes the longest and if you only change code it's much much faster so first time through when you when it does the wiring the first time it takes a little bit longer but after that's pretty fast so here's the compiler spitting out the uh, uh, compile information and we've built the project now if you notice on the left hand side here you see all these files were created so we have all these APIs that was customized just for us it has our name there and the LCD as well. If we would have called left that ADC underscore Delsig, you would have seen that for name. But we have all these these API generated for us now. And if we go into main, main.c, yeah, this gives us a little more room here. And you'll see it just a you know a dummy file in here. One nice thing about um, our all of our APIs are pretty consistent. So we call the LCD, of course LCD. So we can say LCD start, and that'll initialize the LCD. We have an ADC, so we'll say um, ADC start, and we've started up the ADC now. The um, LCD has some pretty simple commands, and we'll just test it out. We'll you can do a position and go ahead and the each of these components they have a, a, a data sheet to check out the API and um, have a very simple command to position the cursor and we're going to put on row 0 we'll see what that means in a minute row 0 column 0 and we're going to print out a little string here so the print string and we're going to call it um, PSOC voltmeter Oops. So this will just print a uh, string PSOC voltmeter on the top of the display. And the next thing we want to do is um, we want to start the conversion process of the ADC. And for that, uh, we say ADC start convert. It's kind of like putting it in gear. You know, we, like you start your car, you put it in gear. Well, this puts it in gear. So we started um, the conversion process for the ADC. Uh, we don't need interrupts, so we'll just comment out this or uh, take this line out of the way. And then the next thing we'll want to do is check to see when the conversion is done for that. So we'll we'll check for that with an if statement. So if ADC and the API for this is is in conversion, make sure I spell that conversion and the in this um, function you can have it two ways you can have it sit there and wait for you and not return until the conversion is done or just give a status and we're just going to check for a status this time ADC return status and that's this is already fine for us and if it's not equal zero we want to do something about it. So I'll put our parens here. And so this means if it's um, if this status returns a non-zero value, that means our ADC is ready to give us a value. And we'll have to generate a couple parameters. We need um, a result. So I'll do an int, a 32-bit int for a result because we're doing a 20-bit ADC result. Let's call it. Um, we want to display it in floating point values. We'll do, convert it into float, and we'll just call it ADC volts. And since we're going to use a S printf, uh, we need to have a, um, a te temporary string. So I'll just make a temporary string, and I'll just make it 25 characters or something like that. And since we're going to use um, S printf, we'll have to include um, the standard stdio h file oops now let's go back down here and uh, we're going to get the result 
EC result, and the function for that is notice that all the uh, APIs always start with the instance name of the component. So, oops, get result. Oops, get. Having a hard time typing today. Zip. 32. You can get different, you can get an 8 bit, 16 bit, or 32 bit result depending on what you're doing. And um, we want to convert it into volts. Well, that, what um, they, ADC get result 32 gives you a um, an integer value of how many counts from the ADC. You know, like an 8 bit give you might give you from 0 to 255, but that doesn't tell me how many volts volts it is it just gives you some some number so what we're going to do is we have this AD, uh, API that'll take the the counts that you get from the um, the get result get result and it'll convert it for you so this one's called counts to volts and there's a couple other for millivolts and microvolts if you want to do integer math so we'll put the counts result the result from the ADC we'll put there and that's going to convert uh, for us now the other thing it does too is it scales it it knows that we use the 1.024 volt reference so it'll scale it properly for us as well and then we want to put it into a, a nice format so we're going to use sprintf and there's our string you gotta have a string to build it into and uh, make sure I get this right. Um, your standard, you know, printf, uh, sprintf format. Put a sign in there. We'll just show it down to millivolts. And we're going to print out the volts floating point value that we have here. And then, then we want to pr actually print it out. So we're going to put this on the second line. The first line, remember, has this uh, uh, PSOC voltmeter string. And uh, this one, get that right. Uh, we're going to put this on the second line. And we're going to print the string. Print string. Okay, so let's take a look at what's going on here. We start the LCD. We start the ADC. We put up a little uh, message here. We actually put the ADC in gear with start convert. We go into this infinite loop. We check to see if the conversion is done yet. And if the conversion is done, um, we get the result with ADC get result. And then we want to convert it from counts, that, that number that doesn't you know sometimes it doesn't mean anything to you we want to convert that to a floating point value that's why we you know define this and then we want to convert this into a nice format we take the ADC volts um, floating point value convert it into a nice um, format to display in the LCD put it into the uh, string temp string we position our current on the second line the LCD and we print the string so uh, I do a right click here and I say build and we'll see if I have any typos don't have any typos so this time I'm gonna hit this little button to uh, program the part and we'll see what happens here we program the part and if everything works fine we will uh, be able to see it on the uh, display over here let me turn the camera on Okay, we uh, compiled the project, and as you can see, the uh, display is already running. Uh, the programmer resets it as soon as it downloads. We have uh, one wire that connects the port 00, zero over to the p potentiometer input. A little potentiometer off the, the bottom of the board here. And then we have our $400 plus fluke voltmeter to, to kind of compare the results. And if you notice, as I adjust the voltage, uh, the two match within a count uh, or closer and so with very few lines of code hardly any schematic whatsoever one jumper on the DVK this is our standard DVK and you get a working voltmeter hope you enjoyed the video thanks for your time